Several churches across the nation are sheltering undocumented immigrants to prevent their deportations. The sanctuary movement emerged from the government's failure to enact immigration reform. Angela Navarro is one of those undocumented immigrants. She's avoided deportation orders for a decade and fears returning to the gang violence in her native Honduras. Angela now shelters at West Kensington Ministry in Philadelphia. Earlier I spoke with Angela and Nicole Kligerman, who is with New Saint Sanctuary Movement of Philadelphia. Angela, Nicole, welcome to Arise America. Thank you so much for taking a few minutes with us. I do appreciate it. Uh, and Nicole, I know that you're going to help as a translator for Angela, but I want to start with a question for Angela, and that is, uh, Angela, tell me, first of all, how you got into the United States and how long you have been living in fear of being deported. Yo uh, vine and hace 12 años cuando tenía 16 años y ese es el tiempo que tengo viviendo así con ese miedo. Um, I came to the United States um, 12 years ago when I was 16 years old and since then I've been living with the fear of being deported. And Angela, tell me how you ended up living at this church. You've been there for, I understand it, almost two months for 50 days. How did this come about? Pues, uh, se dio la oportunidad y me dijeron que podía um, pues terminar con mi orden de deportación y entonces por eso decidí venir a, a vivir aquí. Um, so the opportunity was presented to me to have a chance to fight against my, um, my deportation to end it and that's why it, that's when I decided to enter here. And so Nicole, let me ask you about the new sanctuary movement. First of all, what is it? How is it even possible that someone who is here illegally can find sanctuary uh, in a church? And I'm going to throw in another question, ask you to also tell me how common is this? So Angela is the ninth person to enter into sanctuary in the past year, the ninth person throughout the countries. And this is a civil disobedience led by immigrants and people of faith, their allies. Um, to say that all families deserve to be together and we're breaking the law and that's because the law is unjust. Um, Obama has deported 1,100 people each day in the six years of his presidency. Um, and as people of faith, we um, can't abide by the destruction of literally millions of people's lives. And legally, how is this possible? Why is there protection for Angela inside the walls of the church? Um, a couple of years ago, ICE released a memo stating that they wouldn't enter um, schools, hospitals, or places of worship for the purposes of detaining people, taking them to, holding them to um, what their own internal policies say. People of faith and houses of worship have always been spaces of justice, of uh, of spaces of civil disobedience and spaces to fight for all families to remain together on issues of immigration, civil rights, and so many other important issues. And if you'll, Nicole, help me ask Angela uh, how long she's willing to stay at the church. I know that she's staying there, hoping to get her deportation order overturned. And I also want to know, has she worked through the traditional channels uh, to become uh, in a uh, to be in this country legally? Um, pues creo que espero, espero que no sea tanto tiempo, pero que el tiempo que sea necesario para hasta que pare mi orden de deportación. Y, y pues sí, es, eh, anteriormente no había uh, trabajado en eso para, para uh, solucionar mi problema, pero ahora pues la abogada está haciendo um, uh, el trabajo para para lograr cancelar la, la deportación y algo más. Well, I'm willing to be here um, until my final order of deportation is removed. I hope that it's not that much time, but I'm willing to be here until we win. Um, previously, I didn't have the opportunity to um, fight for, to end my deportation, but now with Sanctuary, I have a lawyer who's um, pursuing the, the legal routes. Nicole, let me ask you, haven't the new reforms that President Obama put into place uh, through executive action, uh, don't they work for Angela? I mean, as I understand it, a part of uh, that initiative is to slow down the deportation process uh, for parents whose children are uh, 
um, American citizens, and, and I know Angela's are. So uh, is she in that much jeopardy in light of what President Obama has just recently done? So President Obama's new policy um, expanded um, a, a previous program and will include a up to 5 million people of the at least 12, in, 12 million people who are undocumented. And while we're thankful for that and it represents years of community organizing efforts, it leaves out so many people. And of course, um, Angela's taking sanctuary isn't just about her, but it's about all of those people who are excluded. So um, Angela will be eligible to apply for this um, deferred action for parents of Americans, which is what you're referring to. But that's not only that's only until May, and it's not certain that she would be approved. Finally, and anyway, that program is a, is a temporary status um, that, that could be revoked at any time. And what we're seeking for her is a pathway to citizenship, which isn't included in Obama's program. Uh, Angela, there are quite a number of U.S. citizens who uh, have very strong feelings about immigrants that are here in this country illegally. They believe that um, people like you are breaking the law, that you are taking jobs and services away from American citizens and other people who are here legally. So what do you have to say to these people to make the case that you should stay in the United States? Pues primero ellos obviamente con lo que dicen no saben. Um, segundo que se pongan en los zapatos de uno, que uno no viene a quitarles el trabajo, no no viene a, a gozar de, de los servicios porque tampoco um, como como sin papeles tampoco tenemos ese, esos beneficios y venimos aquí nada más a trabajar, a hacer trabajos que pues muchos desgraciadamente no quieren hacer. Entonces, pues que, que piensen que todos tenemos el mismo derecho, que todos somos hijos de Dios y que dejen de estarnos um, um, acusando de cosas que ellos en realidad no saben cómo son. I think that these people don't understand what our reality is. We didn't come to take anybody's jobs. We don't take public benefits because as people without papers, we aren't eligible for public benefits. Um, we've come here to work and support our families. And I would ask those people to uh, put themselves in our, in our shoes. We do jobs in, that in many cases other people don't want to do. And um, we're all children of God and have rights. And I ask those people to put themselves in our shoes and maybe learn a little bit more because I don't think they understand um, what it's like to live in our situation. Angela Navarro, uh, Nicole Kligerman, thank you both very much for your time. I wish you all the best.